What's up guys got a little uh, short review kind of it's the uh, Pelican phaser 100 kayak uh, I picked this up at uh, Royal King for hundred and seventy nine dollars which I thought was a pretty good deal because Pelicans are really good kayaks and uh, I own two of the uh, Sun Dolphin Aruba tens uh, I used them last year and uh, I was at my local Royal King recently and uh, I saw this kayak and I really really liked it so I went ahead and, and bought it and uh, thought I'd give you guys a little quick look at it here uh, and you guys out there that like to go kayaking as much as what I love to uh, you guys might like this it's not really a what to say a review of it because I'm not around water right now you know to put it out on the water but a little bit later on I will when I take it to the lake I'll uh, I'll do a little quick review of it on the water but this is just like a little quick look at it uh, so that you guys think about it uh, just leave comments uh, if you like the kayak you know what you think about the pelican kayaks I've never owned a, ki uh, a pelican kayak before so uh, I'm anticipating uh, getting this one to the water and trying it out but uh, I thought maybe I would just go over a few of the features of it because it is a little bit different than my Aruba so uh, let's get started with it all right take a good look at this kayak you can see right here it's got the name badge on the side of it it is a phaser 100 kayak it's in blue two-tone blue and white it's blue on top it's got the white hull uh, come back here to the back of it it does have the uh, the grab handles one in the rear and uh, we have one up here in the front right there pretty sturdy I like those definitely like them better than what's on the Aruba um, back here at the back it's got the little uh, rubber drain plug all you do is just pull this out if you get water in your kayak so you turn it over something like that you know get water in it or at the end of the day you have to drain the water out you just pull this plug out turn it up on its end and let the water drain out and then put the plug back in uh, it does have the I can get the camera down here. It does have the adjustable footrest right here, left side and right side. They adjust back and forth. So, uh, for ever how tall you may be, uh, one thing I really like about this uh, Pelican kayak is, uh, unlike my uh, Aruba kayak, uh, this one has. A little bit of a cushion seat to it, a cushion pad to it right here. Ergo form has the back rest. They're all adjustable here with these straps. Uh, and I will say the uh, the cockpit area, the opening to this kayak is much bigger than what the uh, Sundolf Aruba 10 is. Uh, I really like that about this kayak. Up front here on the nose of the kayak, you have a little bit of storage area. You have the bungee cords right here. The Arubas do not come with that, but uh, this one has it. Got the little bungee straps. Uh, at the back of the kayak, it does have a little storage area. Uh, it's it's not waterproof. Uh, we'll open it up here. As you can see, no rubber gasket around it, just a plastic lid, a little area to uh, put items in. Anything you might want to store there, but I would advise not to uh, let any water in there because it, it's definitely not watertight. 
Also, it has the little rubber knee guards. Uh, I think the Aruba has like the uh, foam type one, and uh, they have a tendency to, uh, at least on the Arubas anyways, to uh, come loose and you have to, to uh, re-glue them. But this one has the uh, rubber slide on type. They seem a little bit more sturdier. I don't think these are going to come off. Use them for a grab handle when you're uh, transporting the uh, kayak, you know, getting it out of your vehicle, truck, whatever. You know carrying it to the lake you know so yeah they seem pretty good and i will will say that you may see the oar here uh, these do not come with the pelican um, these oars that is one that i it's a little cheap oar it's an ozark trail i bought it at walmart the uh the pelicans do not come with oars unlike the uh the aruba tins uh, they do come with a, with a, a set of oars, uh, so uh, that's one thing to consider when you get a kayak like this that you will have to purchase uh, a separate set of oars for it. So uh, just keep that in mind. So uh, let's go down here and look at the some of the information on this kayak. You can see right here. Uh, this is the model KX10. Uh, model year 2018 uh, type of boat kayak of course uh, hull material polyethylene uh, length 120 inches beam 28 inches uh, built for pleasure use um, this kayak has a maximum capacity of 275 pounds or 124.7 kilograms and I think this kayak weighs in at around 38 pounds. So uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty lightweight. One person can can handle can handle this kayak. So, uh, but yeah, this is the uh, this is the uh, Pelican Phaser 100 kayak. Can't wait to get it out on the water and uh, yeah, so as I get a chance to uh, take it out to the water. I'll do another little video of it, and, uh, and I'll be posting it later. So, hey, thanks, guys. Uh, any comments, uh, leave me what you think, man. So uh, I'd like to hear from you guys. Later.